like kings on the mountain. We emerge from the darkness. What is up, guys? Welcome to the video today. It is Monday. We just had that winter storm, so the trails. Well, like completely different trails. I've never ran the trails whenever it snowed. I don't think it snowed ever since I started running, I don't think. But we just finished an easy seven mile run uh, this evening. This It's around lunchtime right now. But it is cold AF, like a lot of low hanging branches because the snow is weighing them down and stuff. So you really just had to run through it. And so I'm kind of really wet and really cold right now. So. I'm gonna go fix that. And what better way to warm up than with some spicy chicken sandwiches with no pickles. But, okay, during this long run, not long run, during this easy seven miles I just ran, uh, I was, you know, you, what you do while you're running, you think about some things. I was like, I feel like I'm forgetting something. And I was. I, I was like, okay, there's this online class I was supposed to do for work that my boss bought for me to do and send me everything so I could do the class. And you had a 90 day window to do this class. And I was like, you know, 90 days this is a long time. I can, you know, I can do it later. Wrong. I should have done it soon after that and I didn't. And I had 90 days to do it. And I got the email. I was like, stopped during my run to check when I got the email. The email was sent to me in October. It's January now. But it was sent to me 82 days ago. So I have a week to do this class which I should have already had done a long time ago. So, thankfully, I thought about it for some reason. I thought about it during my run. So I'm gonna go home after this and get that done because I don't know how to text my boss. But yeah, you know how you paid that money for me to do this class? Yeah, I kind of forgot about it and didn't do it. And I'm only saying this because, I mean, I don't tell anybody at work I make these videos. So, I'm confident he's not gonna see this. And if he does see this, I'm getting it done. It's, it's getting done. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about building mileage and how I'm going to be building my weekly mileage up to hopefully complete the Lake Martin 100 on March 26, 2022. So asking someone, yo bro, what's your weekly mileage is pretty much the equivalent to asking someone, yo bro, how much do you bench? It's pretty much a good indicator of someone's fitness, especially in running. Like the more mileage you're running, usually the more fitter, uh, the better runner you're going to be. Uh, so let's talk about weekly mileage. Right now I'm running 50 to 60 miles a week right now and that will gradually increase peaking at about 80 to 80 plus miles a week. I don't know exactly right now. It really just depends on how I'm feeling, how my body is feeling, and if I can go even further at the peak of my training. And running 50 to 60 miles a week, uh, I'm not running these miles as fast as I can. 80 to even 90% of my runs are gonna be slow, comfortable, conversational pace runs where I'll be able to hold a conversation with someone if I was running with them. And a good way I like to track to see if I'm running my runs easy enough is using the Maffetone method. I have other videos about the Maffetone method, but essentially it's a form of heart rate training to where I track my heart rate and I don't let my heart rate exceed a certain uh, BPM, which my Maffetone, my math rate right now is 155. You take 180, you subtract your age, I'm 25, and that gives you your max heart rate. And that's a good indicator for me and a good visual indicator. I can look at my watch while I'm running and if I get above that max heart rate, I know I need to back off, slow down. And these miles are gonna be very important. These are gonna be aerobic building miles. This is where we're gonna build this aerobic engine to where we can hopefully complete this 100 mile run. And building this aerobic engine, hopefully we're just gonna be able to find the gear, a slow gear. Uh, for me, but be able to just hold that pace, hold that gear for as long as we can to just rack up mile after mile after mile to hopefully see the finish line at the Lake Martin 100. Uh, and you may be watching this video, you may not be training for a 100 mile race, and there are a lot of different ways to train for a 100 mile race. Um, this is, I'm just documenting the way I'm training for it. Hopefully it pays off in the end. 
but you may not be training for a 100 mile race and you're watching this video. Maybe you're an average runner running 20 to 30 miles a week and you say, hey, I wanna be able to run farther or I wanna be able to run faster or both and increasing your weekly mileage will usually help that like 95% of the time probably just increasing your mileage, running more mileage will make you a better runner, a stronger runner, a faster runner. Um, and if you're starting at 20 miles a week, a good rule of thumb is not increasing your weekly mileage by more than 10%. So that means next week, you're not gonna increase it by more than two miles. And I know that can be slow, especially if you're trying to build your mileage up from 20 to like 50 a week, that can be slow, but building an aerobic base takes a lot of consistency and it takes time. Um, I'm nowhere near where I want to be and I've been running for over a year now. It takes months and months and months and years and years to build a, a really fantastic aerobic base. Building your mileage, yes, it's going to be great for your running gains, making you be able to run farther, run faster, but it can also be diminishing if you're rising your mileage up too high whenever you're not ready for it. Your body is not ready for it uh, because none of us are going to get better at running whenever we're injured. So. Again, following that 10% rule can help you avoid injury and just, hey, be patient and continue trucking on. Be really consistent. But again, this is how I'm training for the 100 mile race. Uh, there's going to be lots of other different types of things I'm going to be documenting. So subscribe if you're interested in that. And hey, we have how many? We have a while before the 100 mile race. Lots of things to document, lots of training to document. I'll see you in the next video.